Sharon, you look upset. What's wrong? Yeah, I just don't get this hospital's administration. My supervisor wants me to go to the clinic today to get a flu vaccine, saying it's my professional responsibility and that I should be getting a flu vaccine every year. Well, I agree. I get it every year. I have every confidence and it's no big deal. Well, it's a big deal to me. It's fine to take the risk of getting a vaccine if you're a high risk, like some of our patients, but I don't need it. I'm really very healthy. I wash my hands all the time. I even be sure to put on a mask if my patient is coughing or sneezing. I certainly don't agree with them making us all get the vaccine, especially since the flu is a mild disease. I say save the vaccine for the people who need it, like patients who are chronically ill. Well, I had the flu about 10 years ago and I thought I was going to die. Actually, at one point, I wanted to die. It was awful. I was sick for over two weeks, came down with all of the symptoms and then some. And I skipped getting the vaccine that year because I was so busy. I figured since I was healthy, no medical problems, I'd be okay. Boy, was I wrong. So I do understand your concerns, but despite the misconceptions out there about influenza vaccine and disease, I wish I had gotten immunized. Well, what do you mean misconceptions? And how can you be so sure the vaccine is safe? Well, after my bout with the flu, I took the time to read all the information I could about influenza vaccine from reputable online sources like the CDC flu website and the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia's Vaccine Information Center. I also spoke to Jackie, that nurse from our local health department, who's the vaccine immunization champion nurse for the county. She's taken all the CDC's online immunization courses. She really knows her stuff. Hmm. Oh, really? Well, what did she say? She said that we nurses have to rely on each other to stay up to date on this type of information. The science says the influenza vaccine is safe. It's well tested. It has to be proved by the FDA before it can be licensed for use. And the safety testing is very rigorous. The FDA continues to monitor the side effects of the population once the vaccine starts to be used in the clinics every year. And they continue to monitor it throughout the whole flu season. <laughs> well, I didn't know that. But Judy told me that her cousin got the flu shot when she was a kid, and then she came down with Guillain-Barre syndrome. I certainly don't need to take the chance of getting that. I'd rather get the flu. Well, Judy may be remembering right about her cousin, but that's not really a problem with the seasonal flu vaccine. During 1976, people were given the swine flu vaccine, which was associated with getting Guillain-Barre, but it was a very specific vaccine and different from the seasonal flu vaccine. Several studies have been done, including one by the National Institute of Medicine, to learn if other flu vaccines in 76 have any association with Guerin Beret. Those studies clearly indicated that the seasonal influenza vaccine that's been in use for the past several years has no connection to Guerin Beret. In fact, only one of the studies suggested an association that one out of one million people vaccinated with the seasonal flu vaccine might be at risk with Guerin Beret. Unfortunately, though, ever since that single swine flu problem of 76, so many people, including the healthcare professionals, continue to perpetuate the rumor that influenza vaccine causes Guillain-Barre syndrome. It's just not true. Well, that makes me feel a little bit better, but what about what Dr. Franklin told me yesterday? He said that he got the flu from the flu shot last year. Really? Well, that's another good concern, but one that you don't have to worry about because it's not true either. It's funny, actually, some of my elderly patients still think they can get the flu from the flu shot. The science shows that the influenza vaccine doesn't cause the flu. There can be some mild side effects during the first five to seven days after the administration of the vaccine, including mild flu-like symptoms, muscle aches, nasal congestion, and if you get the injectable vaccine, you can get some soreness and redness at the injection site but the viruses in the flu shot are killed or inactivated, so you can't get the flu from the injectable flu vaccine. If you get the nasal flu vaccine, you can get side effects like a runny nose, headaches, or throat and a cough because the viruses in the nasal spray vaccine are weakened, not killed. But even so, the nasal flu vaccine doesn't cause any severe symptoms, and actually, most people don't get any symptoms at all. Well, that makes me feel a lot better. I'm glad we ran into each other. Me too. I'm glad I was able to calm your concerns about the flu vaccine. With all I've learned about the flu and how dangerous it really can be, I've become a firm believer that it's important to be vaccinated against influenza every year. I'm actually planning to go get my shot after my shift ends at 3. You should come with me. They're doing free walk-ins at the clinic downstairs. 
We nurses can be the source of influenza disease for our patients if we're not vaccinated. We can cause the infection of others before we have full-blown symptoms of influenza. Study shows that most healthy adults can infect others one day before becoming sick and showing any symptoms and also five to seven days after showing symptoms. I don't know about you, but I can certainly sleep better at night knowing that I took the steps to make sure that I'm not the reason for one of my patients getting sick with influenza and possibly dying. It's especially important to me because I volunteer at the nursing home where my mom lives when they're shorthanded. Besides, who's going to take care of our patients if we or our family members get sick? I certainly don't want to take time off because of influenza when a simple vaccine can keep me healthy. And now I get it. I do need to be immunized against influenza. How about we meet downstairs at 3 o'clock and I think I'll join you in getting my vaccination today. Sounds like a date.